Hi, my name is Deacon Jim, and this is St. Bernadette in South Los Angeles. Today is Friday, September 27th, and we celebrate the feast day of St. Vincent de Paul, priest. And with that, my brothers and sisters, let us begin as we always begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, as we begin our celebration, let us praise our merciful God. Lord Jesus, you came to seek out those who were lost. Lord, have mercy. You came to give your life for the sake of all. Christ, have mercy. You came to gather into one family your scattered children. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O oh God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy endowed the priest, St. Vincent de Paul, with apostolic virtues, grant, we pray, that a fire with that same spirit we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And let us come together as we break open the scripture. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die a time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones, and a time to gather them up, a time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to snub, sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and times of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm is, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my flock. Lord, what is a man? that you notice him, the son of man, that you take thought of him at all. Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The son of man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for the many. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowds say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist. Others, Elijah. Still others, one of the ancient prophets who have arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say 
that I am. Peter said in reply, the Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly. And he rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So today, September 27th, we celebrate the feast day of St. Vincent de Paul Priest. And as many of you know here in South Los Angeles, we even have the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. Um, and I mean this with respect, not as a side, side mark, but, you know, they're, they're a group of do-gooders and very, very good at it at being do-gooders, the St. Vincent de Paul Society. Vincent was born in Aquitaine in 1581. After finishing his studies and being ordained a priest, he did parish work in Paris. In order to form a holy clergy and to help the poor, he founded the Congregation of the Mission, or the ones that we now know as the Vincentians. There you go. And with the help of St. Louis de Marillac, the Congregation of the Daughters of Charity. He died in Paris in 1660. So quite a ripe old age for those years, right? Nah, he was over 70. So with that, my brothers and sisters, that's St. Vincent de Paul. And to all of you who have a St. Vincent de Paul Society, God bless your work and God bless your, your ministry. The Messianic Secret. How many times have we heard that phrase thrown out there? The Messianic Secret. Or Jesus' direction to the disciples not to tell anybody. Not to tell them about his words, his works, or identify. And this seems to be a key theme in Mark's gospel. It shows up here in Luke also, however. Yes, yeah, some of you are going, but Mark's gospel, I thought we had, were reading Luke. We were. Um, it also shows up there. As Jesus asked the disciples to articulate who they believe him to be. That's an important question something that maybe all of us should do as well. Who do we think that, who do we believe Jesus is? When Peter accurately and bravely proclaims his faith in Jesus as the Christ, Jesus shushes him. He rebukes him, says, keep quiet, don't talk about it. Peter apparently has the gifts of God's timeless witness, wisdom in his heart right? He got it right. He got it right. His timing was just off. But in light of the work of God, that God has to do, it's not the right time to speak about it. It was a time to be silent, a time to laugh, a time to sing, a time to mourn, a time to keep your mouth shut, right? Zip it, Peter. Jesus advises his disciples that there is more to being God than an ultimate victory. In fact, Victories on the other side of suffering. Now, there's a statement for you to take with the rest of the day. Victory is on the other side of suffering. It's on the other side of rejection. It's on the other side of death. What Jesus does in the here and now, the time of sowing, building, healing, planting, seeking, will eventually give way to what he is doing for the eternal now. And that's what we're always looking for, the eternal now. That time of an ending peace, that time of love, that time of dancing and embracing one another. But only, only my brothers and sisters, after passing through the terrain of suffering, the time of death, the time of weeping, the time of loss, the time of mourning, and yes, even the times of hate. When we must traverse that terrain, whether in scripture or, wow, in our daily lives, in our daily lives, our stronghold and our shield will always be the Lord. It will always be our rock. 
in whom we trust. When others are traversing that terrain, we are called to do what? Accompany, serve, encourage, advocate for them, as exemplified in the life of St. Vincent de Paul, whose memorial we celebrate today. How best can we serve Christ? By mirroring him, by being examples to the rest of the world, what it means to be a Christian. Amen. Acknowledging that all things are possible through Christ, let us turn to our loving God with our prayers. For Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy, may they lead others to Christ through their words and their deeds. O oh God, in your goodness, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For all married couples, may their loving union be a witness to all whom they encounter. O oh God, in your goodness, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For those preparing for sacraments, May they feel the presence of the Lord more deeply in their lives. O oh God, in your goodness, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For our, those regions experiencing the devastating effects of climate change, may countries around the world work together to better care for the environment. O oh God, in your goodness, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For those discerning major life decisions, may they feel God helping them, guiding them in the correct direction. O oh God, in your goodness, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For those loved ones who have gone before us, may they experience the radiant joy of eternal life with God. O oh God, in your goodness, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold in the silence of our own hearts. For these prayers and those entered into our prayer and petition book, that they may be received and answered by our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we offer these prayers to you, acknowledging that you are good and loving. We ask you to intercede in our behalf and let the church say, Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us come together and pray the prayer our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, and deliver us from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your Son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too he may be, we may be sustained by his prayers. Through Christ our Lord, amen. I should go back to that, not because I stuttered over it, but because of, listen to how important that is. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in his preaching of the gospel to the poor, so that we may be sustained by his prayers. So it's a two-way street, right? Two-way street. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Happy Friday. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Happy Saturday for that, and we have the day of a martyr that day, and I'm not going to give it away, though. Come back tomorrow and see whose day tomorrow is. Amen. Amen. Have a great day today.